Dressing up with flair. Understanding. Best bib and tucker. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the fascinating world of the English language and its myriad expressions. Today, we're exploring a particularly charming phrase, best bib and tucker. This expression is not just about clothing. It's a window into culture, history, and the art of dressing up. So, buckle up as we unravel the layers behind this phrase and why it's more than just about looking good. The phrase, best bib and tucker, hails from a time when fashion and societal norms were quite different from today. A bib refers to a piece of cloth worn from the neck to the chest, protecting the clothing underneath, somewhat similar to what infants wear but was also fashionable for adults in certain periods. A tucker, on the other hand, was a lace or frilled piece of fabric worn in the neckline of a dress or blouse, adding an element of elegance and style. This expression dates back to the 17th century, when both bibs and tuckers were essential parts of a woman's wardrobe, particularly among the affluent and fashion conscious. Saying someone was in their best bib and tucker implied they were dressed in their finest attire, sparing no detail for the occasion. But why does this matter? Understanding expressions like best bib and tucker offers more than just a lesson in historical fashion. It gives us insight into social customs, hierarchies, and the evolution of language. This phrase embodies a time when dressing up was not just about personal style but a declaration of one's status, occasion, and attention to societal expectations. Today, while the clothes we consider our best have changed dramatically, the essence of the expression lives on. It captures the universal sentiment of putting forward our best appearance for significant occasions, be it a job interview, a wedding, or a formal gathering. It's a nod to the past and a reminder of the importance of presentation in social contexts. In contemporary times, best bib and tucker is less about the specific garments and more about the spirit of dressing well. When used today, it's often in a nostalgic or humorous context, highlighting the effort someone has made to dress up. It's a phrase that appreciates the extra mile someone goes to look their best, evoking images of meticulousness and care in preparation. This phrase, though not as common in everyday speech, remains a colorful addition to the English language, showcasing the rich tapestry of linguistic expressions derived from our ancestors' lifestyles and social practices. We hope you've enjoyed this journey through the history and significance of the phrase, best bib and tucker. It's a wonderful example of how language evolves yet retains connections to its roots, reflecting changes in society, fashion, and attitudes towards dressing up. Whether you're donning your actual best bib and tucker or simply aiming to look your best, remember the rich history and cultural significance behind this quaint expression. Thank you for joining us today. We hope this video has enriched your understanding of English expressions and their origins. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating dives into the English language. See you in the next video.